Hey, it's Joe from The Automator, and in this video, I'm going to talk about this really weird error I got. Parameters of hotkey functions must be optional. So stick around to the end. We're going to show you what it means. It's really kind of cryptic and can be very misleading how to avoid it and how to take advantage of what it was trying to do in case you want to do that. So uh, let's jump into this here. So let me share my desktop. All right, now when I run this script, this is the error I get. So it says error at line 8. My func parameters of hotkey functions must be optional. The program will exit. Great. So you can't even, this is a, it's a tough one because you can't even launch it, right? So, so this is the script, right? And what's really interesting is right here, all I have in it is a hotkey being defined. And then I'm creating a function and that's it. So if I try to run, it, run this within the studio, it's still same, same error. Parameters of hotkeys must be optional, right? Parameters of hotkey functions must be optional. What a weird error. And actually, let me show you. Let's say I comment this out and I include a library, right? So this is a class. This is the GIP class. I'm going to relaunch it. Now look, parameters of hotkey functions must be optional. And it's pointing into this updated layer inside, you know, of the GDIP library, line 82. What, what in the world? Why would this happen, right? This shouldn't be going on. Well, uh, Isaiah explained it to me the other day, what they have made in version, so since March of 2015, in version 1.1.20, and then everything going forward, they had this thing called um, hotkey functions. And what you can do um, is you can actually assign a hotkey to a function or a couple other things as well. I think labels and other things or hot strings and, and whatnot. But <clears throat> what's going on here is that let's say if you really read it, it says, you know, hockey functions must be optional. Well, let's make this optional. So let's put, let's put in here, colon equals test. Now I'm going to save it and relaunch it. Hey, it ran, right? There's no problem here. And if I hit my hotkey, hey, look, test. Well, wait a minute. I'm just defining a function here, right? I'm not actually running the function. I'm not calling the function. Normally, you know, what we would do if you're playing with functions, and I'll put a link below if you're not used to functions. Functions are by far the most amazing thing, you know, out there. Let's say duh. So now here I'm calling this function. This is going to launch just perfectly fine. And when I hit, oh, hit my hotkey, uh, it says duh. Why will I pass duh to it? And look, I can actually get rid of this. This will be perfectly fine as well, right? So hit and it works. Not a surprise. And I could put a return here. It wouldn't matter, right? But here we know I'm calling the function. This is the function. But when we get rid of this, the interesting thing is someone decided this would be a good thing. And this is one of the things I don't like about auto hotkey. I wish they left things as they were because it was straightforward. There was an easy way. They're like, hey, you know what? Why don't we avoid having to call the function if we put a hotkey right next to the function it'll automatically call it with and this is why you need to have the default value if you have any parameters they need to be um you need to have something in here so it it can use it in it right so it's to me this is a i, I get it i mean now i understand what's going on how i can avoid it um you can avoid it the simple way to avoid it is don't don't define your functions right after a hotkey right put a return here um, and this, even if we got rid of this, I can rerun it. And now control T doesn't do anything. Duh, I'm an idiot because I didn't call it. Now, if I put it here and call it, control T, it calls it, but it's blank because I didn't pass anything to it. So here I would pass um, example, save, reload, and control T. Now it's passing that to it, right? So that's how you'd avoid it. Or you can go ahead and make sure that the parameters that you pass are optional, meaning you pass something to it. If you have a parameter, make them optional, and then you can leverage this. But it's a really weird, especially with that example of the class where it was pointing to a whole nother file. That's where the error is. No, the error is right here, right? The error is in my, what I'm doing here or with the include and just very misleading. Um, so I hope that helps you. If you ended up in this video, you probably were searching with that weird parameters of hotkey functions must be optional. Uh, which just to me, uh, parameters of hotkey functions, you know, uh, what's a hotkey function? Um, that's what a hotkey function is. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know also if you have, if you've run into any other bugs that you just don't quite understand what the problem is, because I'm more than happy to, to work through and try to demonstrate what the problems are and how to solve them and the why, because auto hotkey version one, you know, it's kind of fading away here soon and version two will be out, but there's still going to be, I think, some quirks 
and weirdness that people just don't understand. So I'm, I'm happy to make some videos on that. Uh, please like the video if you think this helped you in any way uh, and share it or, you know, subscribe if you're not a subscriber.